Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 79 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and we're back again to get some more stuff done. Um, I had a very, very productive stream. I built this reactor. I did lots of things and I got my my resident angel, well, no, the resident angel ring came after. I did get the base angel ring, the leadstone angel ring, uh, on the stream, though. So, I set up a compact machine. It's not a big deal. Just, it's a, a giant... <laughs> probably didn't need it but it's pretty easy so I just set up a network receiver here and a network transmitter back at the base uh, and these two guys are linked together and I have the wireless transmitter so I can access my wireless crafting grid with control Z yes it's very good um, definitely worth a couple of netherite to set it up um and this is just uh filtering out some of the stuff from the mob system because uh, <laughs> yeah it's it's crazily putting things into my system so i do have another idea planned for today uh but I wanted to show you what I've been doing. I converted my whole storage system from these uh, spruce drawers, the one by one drawers, to the two by two drawers, uh, which is beneficial because I don't really need eight million. If you upgrade this all the way with just copper, <laughs> just the copper upgrades you get 8 million storage in one block if you put a 2x2 two two, you still get your 8 million but it's divided between the four drawers so it's 2 million per 2 million is tons of room for, for all the different items that I have so now I have room to store so many more things. <laughs> uh, so as we grow and get more, uh, we have a place to store it and our drives won't get all cluttered up. Yep. Uh, so I made another compact machine here. I uh, put a network transmitter right there and I have it linked up to network receiver in here. This is basically all I've done. It's, uh, I got the, the compact machine built and put a network receiver in it. And I did a couple of recipes so that I can come in here and quickly get what I need. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I need. I want to build a pretty big base of like a crafting machine <laughs> with reborn storage it looks like this is the old type of AE computer crafting system which I really like um, so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna try to build at least a decent one um, I don't want like a one with a one by one <laughs> or it actually has to be a one by two in the in inner uh parts um because you have to have a crafting storage and a crafting cpu well maybe you don't have to have both the crafting cpu and the storage i'm not 100 certain uh but you at least have to have the crafting storage so you can store your stuff and if you don't have the cpu maybe it will just be a lot slower don't know but I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have a couple of those uh, so what I figure is um, let's put it back here 
I want at least uh, do I really want to do a three by three interior because that is what it would take a five by five base here to be able to do this. I just don't want, I don't want like the one by two interior. I want something a little bit bigger. And I think a two by two interior would still be a little bit small. Uh, so yeah, I think this is what I want to do the five by five. So I want a decent one that I don't have to come in and rebuild all over again. <laughs> so let's, um, there is thing called heat vents, which I'm pretty sure you put them on all of the sides, not on a corner. And the casing or the frame goes on the corners. And then you fill the interior with whatever combination of crafting CPUs and crafting storages that you would like. Uh, so, Let's get, oh, uh, let's get like nine of these. Can I get nine of these? This, the problem is this is going to take one. Let's do this. Because uh, I did, did get the crafting recipes for this. I thought I added the crafting CPU and the crafting storage as well. That does not happen. Oh well. So let's do nine of these. And then we'll need uh, five more sets of nine. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> That is a lot. So five times nine is 45. So, wow. It might take it a while too. All right, so that means we're left with like 16. Uh, this guy. Oh. And that will get us at least the bottom layer. Sweet. Um, I really wish it would remember your, your stuff. Oh, why did it make 18? No. Now we got the frame. I might be a little bit more, uh, a little bit too ambitious about this. There we go. And uh, do, do, do. there, there. Three by area so we're gonna need at least one of these guys I could have swore that I made the crafting CPU crafting storage uh, let's go ahead and add that since we're gonna need multiples because there are a lot of sub combines oh I only got the, the crafting upgrade I see I was in the middle of it and got distracted, I guess. So we'll get these crafting recipes uh, done. Let's do crafting storage.
wonder if that's gonna throw a kink in my plan. I better, I better get <laughs> the proper. Oh, dude, does it have to be a chest? It has to be a normal chest. Okay. Wow. Um. Well, let's teach it to make a chest then as well. So create this and then clear, put you in there. Sweet. And then the crafting CPU. And there we go. All right, now we should have everything ready to go. Boop. Boop. Oh, this is going to be so good. Um, okay, so I want at least one. One crafting CPU. I'm going to have more, but I want to make at least one. Um, and oof, we're, this is the hard part. The heat conductor. 45. Wow. We have all the stuff though, so... Let's do it. Got a crafting CPU, crafting storage. Uh, what's 16 minus, so 10 for there and there. So we're going to need 20. 20 of those, and then that leaves six. There, that should be all the frame and whatnot. Um, we have enough for one more side. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them out. Ooh, <laughs> You got to like shift click to place those down. Okay, so crafting CPU and crafting storage. Um, now the crafting CPUs will only um, speed up your crafting process and the uh, Crafting storage will obviously give you more storage. So, good times. Uh, I obviously want a lot of both of them. Conductors, that's enough for two more sides. And do, 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 do. Okay, what else did we get? We got nine more. That's all this stuff. Let's grab out these crafting frames. And the doot. Hopefully I did my counting correctly. <laughs> And I didn't mess anything up. And now I had, how did I get four extra? Um, and it's got four more. 
so this should fill up top 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 no <laughs> oh yes uh now the four here are finished so all we need are the guts <laughs> the guts of everything um so i'm thinking maybe we want like a couple more cpus do uh two cpus and that's three four Uh, so we should have five slots left. No. No. I'm mad. Uh, that's not nine slots that I have. That's 27 slots. Uh, so <laughs> um, that would be 23 crafting storage blocks. So maybe... Maybe we'll go ahead and make a couple more CPUs. Let's do like three. Three more CPUs. That'll give us six. And that'll be 21 crafting storage. So, oh, a missing glass and silicon. That is unfortunate. The silicon, hopefully you have some ready. This is kind of buggy. It's only stacking up to like one. I have to manually put this stuff in there to get it to go higher than one stack. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It just, that's what it's doing. Okay. So get you guys in there. Um, let's go visit the, it's, dude, I don't have my setup anymore. I can't just toss a bunch of junk into my furnace, into my chest, <laughs> and have it go. Ooh. Um, and there's no... no chest on this one. Pumpernickel! <laughs> I need a better, better mass, uh, productive, uh, chest thing in the bobber thing. Okay, so how many did we need? Be born born um okay it's got that do we have enough yes we have enough now yes <laughs> awesome so are you ready get you another stack oh it, it's got to make stuff come on come on come on come on oh it's making all the improved processors so i'll do this in a little bit because we have stuff we have the stuff we need now let's make it the last 20. it by the wire what well we need to set a new point a new spawn point in there so we don't die okay. oh we just ate There we go. There's three, and it's almost done. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Okay. And do do That's uh it's got twenty one oh it's got a page for each storage in there, it looks like. We got twenty one storage. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so now we have to do is get some cable to hook it all up. Uh now this should show up in our system uh so let's just let's just get out of here come back over here uh, and go check our crafting manager and see what he has to say because <laughs> this is pretty cool i need all this room because i i had to add a crafter just to add those crafting recipes uh, crafter manager multi-block crafter look at all that <laughs> oh. it's i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling oh my goodness that is a lot we have a lot of crafting going on now heck yeah so what i could do um i don't know if this is gonna be faster to put these pull these out of the regular crafters and put them into the big multi-block structure now um yeah yeah <laughs> um also i was thinking of uh setting up an ore laser base in one of the uh, void dimensions, the compact machines. Um, it should be able to do that, uh, especially with the network transmitter and whatnot. I was thinking of maybe putting uh, a reactor in there <laughs> and just have it all in one area I don't know I'd have to set it up to see if there's enough room for it but I was definitely thinking of getting rid of this whole lava setup down here and putting in another reactor just if I just have the one with the three by three interior that's 3,000 FE a tick um, that I have at my disposal and that would get me more powerful machines. I could uh, probably afford to do mechanism with that much power uh, for the base. Uh, I don't think I could do mechanism machines on three magmatic dynamos. I mean, it's uh, they are producing like 640 a tick, which together that's almost 2,000. Um, so but the lava is uh, finite, so I have to go and replace the, the pump ever so often. I've already replaced it twice. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it is a little bit of a thing, but if I get the, uh, the mining laser, the laser drill, and the laser base, uh, set up i won't have to move that anymore and that will be super fantastic and if i don't have to go and redo the lava then that's even better the the laser drill will hopefully bring in enough uranium to keep uh one reactor going and hopefully a second because uh, i am getting a surplus i started off with only like 4.5 uranium and now I have 5.8 okay so that's pretty good I want to go to check check
chest over here to see how it's doing. I did hook it back up. Oh my, look at that. Yeah, the last time I moved my builder, it took uh, two, less than two stacks of uranium to run, run it from beginning to end. And look, <laughs> it, it's given me like five stacks already. And I think it's already smelted one. So I checked it earlier and uranium was in uh, one of the pulverizers instead of just all copper. Uh, so yes, <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Uh, we can get our resources a lot quicker. This is automatically set up to pull the uranium uh, from the, the refined storage system. And this automatically pulls out all the waste, uh, the cyanide, uh, so it keeps it at peak performance where it's doing uh, 3.25 kfe a tick. And it's stable. It works. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, I need another one of these. Uh, or maybe, maybe I'll just have this one run the base. Um, and then, I don't know. I think I might have, might need to put another one. We'll see. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, that is the episode. We were successful in getting our computer built. Ah, it's so good. Got our crafting multi-block structure done. Yeah, and this could get bigger if I need more. I don't foresee me needing any more <laughs> Any more auto crafting slots for quite some time. Uh, yeah, that's that's good stuff. Um, also, we could set up subsystems off of here to do various things. We have another uh, compact machine that only has a couple trash cans in it, uh, so we could put up uh, various things in there. I was thinking of setting up my mechanism in a compact machine because I'm running out of room. <laughs> I'm running out of room in my little base. Uh, so I don't I don't have a lot of uh, room to expand. And instead of digging out underneath, I figure I can just do a compact machine and uh, Network transmitter. Now, if I start getting low on ancient debris, then you know I can either go mining some more, or I can try to hook up a laser drill in the Nether. Work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't. I usually play Skyblock worlds where you don't have to actually go to the Nether. To, which I like. Uh, I like not having to go to the nether. Um, it was uh, with great pleasure that I played Agrarian Skies and they made it to where you could go to the nether if you wanted to, but if you didn't, you could. there were alternatives for you to uh, make the things that you needed from the nether, which I like that. So yeah. Um, Anyway, <laughs> we got tons of crafting storage now, uh, so good times. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!